Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This video is a quick update on the 27DMO2. This is the smaller version of the two mid-drive motors that 27 motor are making. Uh, you can see them um, for a side-by-side -side comparison here. This larger one is the DMO1 and is BBSHD sized. And currently this one is in testing on my bike with the back H55 external controller at over 3000 watts. It's been pretty impressive so far. This is a quick look at preparations I'm doing to test the smaller motor. It's about half the weight of the DM01 here and it's rated at 500 watts. Based on the internals though, I think that with the right controller, it's gonna be capable of running more and how much more is gonna be the main objective here. As we head into winter, there's gonna be less opportunities to run the big motor at max power. So I think it's a good time to do some playing with this one. I am genuinely interested to see how much more performance can be reliably extracted from a motor that can be had for about 500 US dollars. This one, just like the larger one, has a torque sensor and with the latest firmware, it's actually getting really quite refined. The wiring on this is a little bit more tricky because the stock controller, uh, which is this here, comes inside of the motor casing. It's pretty easy to open it up and remove it though. Uh, this this is, as I say, the stock controller. I'm still trying actually to identify the exact connectors here. So if people know what model or make they are and can let me know in the comments, that would be, that would be greatly appreciated. It's gonna make things a lot simpler later on. While the motor's open, you can also see why I think this motor can handle more power. And it's the way that the core here is pressed inside of the casing, which gives it a really solid path to conduct and dissipate heat buildup from the stator to the outside. That's the main thing that I'm gonna be talking about with the CYC Photon in, the, in that motor, there isn't really a solid path to dissipate heat. What I'm doing here is a few things. Uh, the first is to add in a thermistor here, and that's gonna give us a good idea of how hot the motor is getting used, and I'm gonna be able to monitor that directly on the back and via the Egg Rider display. The second job has been to extend, uh, these are the, uh, the pedal assist sensor wires, and also the motor hall sensor wires and extend them so I can feed them through to the exterior and then hook them up to the various parts of, this is actually a modified version by a BBSHD harness. So I just basically wanna make the connections well away from where the chain ring is uh, and make sure I don't run into any kind of difficulties with that. So I'm gonna get these kind of poked through and, and tidied up and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like at the end. If the motor does perform really well during testing, it's possible we'll do a kit with the back 555 maybe, um, at which point there'll be a, a, a proper harness made that will work with the with, with the right plugs and, and connectors uh, and make it easy to install. So these are the final connections in place, cover back on here. So we have the hall sensor wiring, we have the pedal assist wiring and we have the thermistor wiring and they correspond to plugs on the harness wires here. This is, it's gonna work for now. It's not gonna be like the final solution for this or anything, but it'll let me test it and allow me to move this wiring away from where the chain ring sits on top of here. And, and that's the main worry is having an issue with the chain ring that then gnash it, that then damages the wires here. And you know, I've, I've wasted, I've wasted an hour and a half of time getting all this all this put together. So I'm gonna use some of this as well. So once it's kind of fitted on the bike, I'm gonna wrap it and do my best to, to protect all of this. It's gonna be interesting to see how much power we can run through this. There is a smaller nylon gear in this than in the bigger motor here. So I'm really interested to know how much this can take. And if it gets broken, it gets broken. Like I have other gears um, and the information can be fed back to 2.7 and they can hopefully then make some improvements to this motor because I, I think it is capable of running more than the 500 watts continuous that it's being sold as. So anyway, that's that. I'm gonna keep testing as long as possible with the DM01 here. And I've got some more footage for that to edit and show you guys uh, using the using the pass sensor and also going full bore 
throttle up some five kilometer long hill stretches here. So that's uh, that's interesting to see. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions about this motor or the DMO1, post them in the comments. You're also welcome to join in the discussion on our Discord. Um, I might do a bit of a video when I put this on the bike so you can see how that's all going together. But anyway, huge thanks for watching and a special thanks to all the channel members that really help make all this possible. See you in the next video. Cheers.